All right, I've had a few people ask me how to replace the AMOLED display on an S3 without having to purchase the entire front assembly. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you today. Uh, you can see this one actually has a broken AMOLED as well as the L as well as the uh, digitizer lens. Excuse me. So um, normally I like to do this with the entire assembly, but this time we're just going to pull this all off of the midframe and install that one component. It'll save you a few dollars. Um, but this is up to you, whichever we want to do it. They both work fine. What we're going to do is start by removing the panel from the back of the phone. Uh, you can skip this part if you already know how to get inside of it, but I'll go ahead and demonstrate it from the beginning. Remove your battery. Make sure if you have your micro SD card, you take that out as well as your SIM. And once you do that, we've got some screws that we need to remove from the rear panel. So uh, let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit here. And uh, if you're not familiar with this phone, these screws don't always like to come all the way out of the panel. It's not important that you remove them completely. It is important that they are completely backed out. But the problem is when you pull the back panel out, sometimes the screws tend to come out at that point. And if they go across the room flying, you will have to retrieve them. So uh, be real careful when you take these out. I prefer to take them all the way out of the case. And fortunately, they are interchangeable. So you can put these all in one pile. doesn't matter where they go. All the same size. And you can see I'm using some tweezers there to get these the rest of the way out. When you get the screws out, there's a soft spot right here in about the center where you can kind of grab a hold of the rear panel and just get it started. And as you do that, just lift up on it, work your way around the edges. You might have to pry a little bit. I went in here with the pry tool and it does kind of clip out uh, at the bottom there. Once you've removed that, we have our uh, main flex here for the AMOLED that I'm going to disconnect. And what I recommend you do before you perform this complete repair is go ahead and uh, let's get a proper pry tool here. Disconnect the old AMOLED, plug in your replacement part and test it for functionality before you go any further. If you go with the uh, full install here and you put the adhesive inside and you end up having problems with the display, it's gonna be just about impossible to remove without damaging it so you won't be able to send it back. So we always wanna take our new part, go ahead and plug it into the phone, put the battery inside, fire this up. I know it's hard to see, but I'm actually hitting the power button at this point. And we just want to make sure that we have a display logo and that the touchscreen is functioning. I will spare you uh, the boring part of waiting for this to start up. Once we determine that that worked, we have another shield at the top here panel that needs to come off. Um, I'm going to actually start by disconnecting the antenna wire from the main board here on the bottom. And then we will have a series of flex cables that we need to disconnect in addition to a little black screw down there at the bottom that secures the logic board into the housing of the phone. So make sure you get all of these flex cables disconnected before you start pulling on anything. And that first one that I pulled off there will actually allow you to rem remove the plastic panel from the top end of the phone. Although it may require a little bit of prying, sometimes you have to kind of go in under this corner up here. There's a nice little place you can get underneath and just get this started and work your way around. That'll pop out of place. Again, just make sure that you have it unplugged before you do anything. And so we have a black screw down here at the bottom, and that is the one oddball. It's different than the rest of the screws in the phone, although very difficult to make any mistakes since there's only one. And from here, we can kind of lift out the logic board, and I just go ahead and take the camera with it. No need to really disconnect that. And now is going to be the fun part. What we need to do is heat up the perimeter of the uh, lens here and just start prying around the edges. Now we're not worried about this being in one piece. Um, in some cases you can attempt to remove the lens without damaging the AMOLED and just replace the glass, but that is not what this video is about and it is not an easy repair to do. So we prefer to go with the complete assembly AMOLED digitizer and lens. And I'm gonna use a metal tool just to get started up here. You don't wanna move it around the edges. If you start going down the edge with this metal tool, you will scratch your bezel. So just get it started enough so that you can get a proper pry tool underneath, which is not what this is. This pry tool is too thick and you'll see right now what happens. If you use too thick of a pry tool, you'll put stress on the lens and it will shatter right about there. So. 
Uh, as you can see, this is it's a nice strong pry tool, but it's triangular shaped at the tip, so it kind of gets really thick uh, the further that you push it underneath the lens. And once you start breaking the lens, it's just kind of a headache. Uh, be careful; you will often end up with glass shards that are very easily to get very easy to get stuck into your fingers. If you want, you can put a piece of uh, strapping tape over the lens to keep it in one piece. I'm not going to worry about it today. Again, you can see I'm prying with the metal tool just enough to get started. Do not move it out of its position. You just want to be able to get under the lip right there so you can start prying around. I've got a thinner pry tool I'm in here that I will uh, start working with and kind of work my way around. And what happened is this, um, actually by accident, it did start going between the lens and the display. So I didn't get the whole thing at one shot, but you'll see here shortly where I actually lifted the glass out kind of by itself and just very carefully going around the edge here. Um, not too worried about breaking anything, but it's nice to keep it in one piece. It just makes the job a lot easier, a lot faster, less messy, and less chances of getting glass stuck in your fingers. Now that I lifted that up enough, I went ahead and went with the thicker pry tool. And you can see I've got a plastic knife here. That kind of gives you a little more distance so you can pry across the whole piece at once. And there it did shatter, but it's still kind of holding together. So a uh, little more heat here and I'll be able to peel this off. And you can see we've got the uh, back and settings button there at the bottom, the little flex cable. Don't worry about that. We're actually going to replace that entire piece. But if you want to, you can salvage it in case you need that in the future for something else. And now I need to get underneath the amulet itself. And this is kind of the messy part because this thing will shatter into lots of pieces. So there's going to be broken stuff going all over the place here in a minute. Um, probably can apply a little more heat if you want to makes it a little easier to pry but there's quite a bit of adhesive underneath this so you just kind of have to really get under here and uh, twist it with uh, whatever you happen to be prying with I like using the metal tool here but as you can see it's just kind of shattering into pieces as I go along fortunately this is all organic materials so we don't have to worry about this ending up in a landfill and uh, poisoning the water supply And we will feed the cable, flex cable through the housing here and just go ahead and pull this whole thing all out at one time. I'm going to take part of the adhesive off here, the place where the glass broke. We want to make sure we have no leftover, uh, no residual glass left over underneath the new lens. So uh, we'll clean this surface up here. Make sure you have this little mesh piece and your home button before you do anything else. And you can see that I just kind of cleaned the surface up. And what we want to do next before we install it, before you put the adhesive in is do a dry run here. Just put the, the uh, assembly into place and make sure that this cable that feeds through for the AMOLED actually lines up in the correct position on the logic board. Sometimes these things are off a little bit and you'll have to kind of peel the cable back and reposition it, which I'll show you here. Uh, in the next minute or so, but you can see this one actually lined up properly. I've had these things be off by as much as a quarter of an inch before, and if that's the case, what you have to do is go ahead and remove it from the housing here and heat up the cable down at the bottom. I'll wait until I get this uh, removed here. There's still a little bit of sticky stuff in there. So you might have to heat this area here, open it up, and then reposition it so that everything lines up properly. So do make sure that everything is going to fit before you actually put the new adhesive onto the phone and peel off any of the wax paper. And again, make sure your home button and your speaker mesh are there. Uh, you really only get one shot at this. You don't want to mess it up, stick it in there, and then have to try to take it off again. It's really sketchy as far as the odds of getting this thing off in one piece. So... Um, I'll go ahead and remove the wax paper. You can see I've added adhesive along the bottom here, kind of just custom cut it to fit. Unfortunately, these things do not come with adhesive underneath the edges of the glass at the top and the bottom. And I do like to add that for a couple of reasons. One is uh, you keep the glass off of the bare plastic surface. And also 
it uh, they do tend to peel up a little bit at the bottom, especially on the right hand side for some reason. So I like to add that adhesive. And of course, the paper I just uh, the wax paper I just peeled off now or plastic was from the factory adhesive that's on the back of the AMOLED. Now we're ready to go ahead and install it into the uh, mid frame. So we will feed the cable through here. And again, this is our la this is our one and only chance. Once you put this in, you're probably not going to be able to take it out without breaking it. So like I said, probably multiple times, do make sure that this is going to fit properly and everything is functioning before you go ahead to this step. And now we'll just kind of work our way around the edges. Don't press too hard on the screen, obviously. I like to set it on a flat surface put a moderate amount of pressure just on the whole housing so that everything kind of seals up there. You can also hit the front of the phone with the heat gun afterwards and that will help the adhesive to bond a little bit better. And from here we'll put our, our uh, logic board back inside. Remember we've got this screw down here at the bottom that kind of secures it, that one black screw. Don't leave that out. And from here we will connect our antenna wires and the flex cables and make sure everything is working before we put all of the screws inside. Just make sure the screen lights up. And that is just about it. Uh, by the way, on these corners here, you might have to put just a little bit of pressure. They do kind of snap into place. And I'll just put a um, couple screws in here to secure this and then throw the battery in and hope for the best. And there you have it. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Post your questions in the comment section below or visit gocellphonerepair.com forward slash forum. Thanks for watching.